If you have ever come across countdown timers, then you probably know they are great tools for meetings, webinars, or events. You can use them before the start of a session, when taking breaks, or during brainstorming. But they are not easy to create because this feature is not available in PowerPoint. As a result, people instead are forced to go for less effective alternatives like loading rectangles or spinning circles. To make matters worse, these timers are restricted to 59 seconds max. That is, if you want a countdown from 3 minutes, for example, it is impossible with the current methods available. So, how can we create a real countdown timer in PowerPoint quickly with the ability to set the duration to any length? It turns out we can generate VBA code for this using ChatGPT. And with a little tweak, we will have a full functioning timer with the capability to specify any time frame. 30 seconds, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, you name it. Let me show you. We'll start by drawing a rectangle in the center of the slide. Then double click on it, add six zeros as placeholders, and format the rectangle and numbers. Next, let's head over to ChatGPT and enter this prompt. Generate VBA code for a countdown timer in a PowerPoint presentation. The code should create a sub named Countdown that does the following. I have all the steps that I want ChatGPT to follow. It is detailed because it took me many trials and errors to finally have ChatGPT generate almost perfect code. But don't worry, the working code is available and you can download it for free using the link in the description. Let's copy the code and head back to PowerPoint. Before we use the code, I'll rename the rectangle to Countdown Shape because when the VBA code runs, it's going to look for a shape with this name. Now we can go to File. Options, Customize Ribbon, and Enable Developer tab. Open Developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Let's add a new model and paste the code we copied from ChatGPT. In the code, you can see the name of the rectangle and a duration of 30 seconds. Let's close Visual Basic window and return to PowerPoint. With the rectangle already selected, I'll go to Insert tab and click on Action. Under Mouse Click tab, let's enable Run Macro. Select the function we just added and click OK. When I run Slideshow and click on the shape, the countdown begins. And if you want to change the duration, for instance, from 30 seconds to 5 minutes, go back to Developer tab. Open Visual Basic window and change 30 to 300. Now when we run slideshow and click on the shape, it starts from 5 minutes. When hosting a virtual event, you can display a countdown before the event starts. And during your meetings, when it's time for tea or coffee break, you can set the mood with a beautiful timer like this one. However, if you prefer not to run VBA code but still need a timer, there is a free heading you can use. Simply head to Home tab and click on Add-ins. Then hit the Get Add-ins button. Search for break time. Click Hard and then Continue. You can adjust the size and move it around as you like. Use the controls at the bottom to alter its settings. For example, change the duration from 10 minutes to 3 minutes and hit the Start button. And if you want to spice things up, open Type drop-down and pick a background. I trust this tutorial has been informative. Until the next video, happy presenting.